Hello YouTubers, welcome to Kijuni here. So while fucking around in, in the firing range um, today, I noticed something weird, like I, I was trying to get some, some screenshots and stuff, but uh, I was using the R99 and just, you know, shooting the targets and all that. And I came to notice that at a certain range, the R99, the P2020, the RE45, and the Prowler don't seem to do headshot damage anymore. So if I move up to here, you can see I'm doing 18 damage to the head and then 12 damage to the body. Uh, 18, 12, okay. Now if I move back just a little bit, so this is about uh, 35 meters. Okay, still doing headshot damage, still doing headshot damage. A little bit back, 40 meters maybe. Okay, right about here. You're not doing headshot damage anymore. You're just doing... Everything's doing the same damage except if you hit somebody in the legs. Now, I don't know if this is a bug or this has always been like that. Uh, if so, why would you not be doing less damage to the body if they don't want to give you headshot damage or damage drop-off? I really don't understand the reasoning behind this. I tried it also in a live game with the alternator. Oh yes, the alternator also is in that... Uh, the, the category that doesn't seem to do headshot damage at this range and same problem I wasn't doing any headshot damage and I don't really understand why I mean it should do headshot damage uh, because if you're good enough to aim for the head at this distance you should be rewarded with headshot damage uh, because every other weapon in the game offers headshot damage at this distance so I'm really confused as to why it's like this again I don't know if it's a bug or if it is intended but uh like it's definitely something that i found interesting while messing about in the firing range um yeah i i really don't know why it is like this see like all these weapons do headshot damage no matter the range but why does do the pistols not do headshot damage and why don't the smgs do headshot damage is beyond me So I suspect it's like about 40 meters. Mm. Like right about there. A little bit less than 40 meters actually. So like right here. 38 meters. That's what that's what I I kind of don't like is that you don't have damage statistics for the weapons on an official source you kind of just get them from all over the place and it's hard to actually know if this is intended that at a past a certain amount of distance you're not supposed to do headshot damage anymore with smgs and pistols excluding uh, the wingman or is it just uh, a mess up in the number inputs in the weapon files that these weapons just don't have the headshot damage multiplier i just find it really weird and honestly really doesn't really serve a purpose because as i said if you're good enough to aim for the head uh at these distances i mean this isn't even this, that far like i could understand if you wouldn't be doing headshot damage at something like i don't know 100 meter 100 meters this is this is only 70 meters you know, at this distance, your bullet might stray off a little bit or with the bullet drop or whatever, but at 35 meters, most people can probably aim for the head, especially if the target is stationary. And sometimes you do surprise people um, in a stationary position and you don't want to get too close. So let's say you had the 99 and you're aiming at this person's head and you think you're going to do headshot damage to get that first initial burst, but then you end up not doing headshot damage. That would actually mess up your your uh, damage potential quite significantly. So I just wanted to make a short video talking about what I found while messing about in the firing range. And if this isn't a problem, please do let me know in the comment section down below. But if this is a problem and it's not intended, then it would be really nice if the devs actually uh, fix this. So anyways, let me know. Did you notice this before? Did you not? Is this intended? Is it not? I'm really confused. Uh, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.